In Matthew 24, 6, Jesus gave his followers a glimpse into the distant future, saying, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. The information we bring you is yet another direct fulfillment of that ancient prophecy. Peering into the distant future, Jesus foretold of the sprouting of the fig tree, symbolic of the national renaissance of Israel, even as Daniel warned of a distant time of Jacob's trouble. Since its official regathering as a nation in May of 1948, Israel has been birthed and bathed in blood. Victorious in countless wars, the apple of God's eye still faces renewed threats from growing numbers of old foes, intent on settling the score and forcing Israel into the sea once and for all. We already know of the dangers that would be posed by a nuclear Iran and already pledged by the mad mullahs in Tehran. Israel is taking those threats seriously and has avoided the divisive outcome of early elections by forming a wartime unity government willing to stand behind sitting Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In recent years, most threats against God's chosen people have come in the form of occasional rocket attacks, launched by Palestinians in the Gaza Strip and occasionally from Hezbollah terrorists in Lebanon. However, two of Israel's more peaceful fronts have been the Far South and the East, courtesy of the Camp David Peace Accord and a separate peace treaty negotiated 18 years ago with King Hussein of Jordan. However, that may all be about to change. The Muslim Brotherhood, a radical Islamic group claiming ties to the terrorists of Hamas, is consolidating its power in Egypt and has taken critical steps to end normal relations with the Jewish state. No longer will Israel receive badly needed natural gas from Egypt. The pipelines were attacked by Islamic terrorists 14 times in the past year, and now the flow has completely stopped. In addition, within the last few weeks, several rocket attacks originating in the Egyptian Sinai Peninsula have targeted Israel. So fragile is the peace there that six reserve battalions of the Israeli Defense Force have been mobilized in case they're needed for future hostilities with Egypt. And what about Jordan? Once again, the Muslim Brotherhood is at work there, rabble-rousing the populace to demand an end to the 18-year-old peace pact with Israel. In one recent demonstration organized by the Brotherhood, thousands of Jordanians took to the streets chanting, Death! Death to Israel! Ah uh, yes, that's from Islam, the religion of peace. Oh, and did we mention that the White House decided to release $1.5 billion in military aid to the Muslim Brotherhood? The very people who are rapidly pushing the Middle East to the brink of yet another war? And that Barack Obama overruled Congress to do just that? And that the Brotherhood is reportedly supporting Brother Obama's re-election bid? By the way, since when has it been legal to accept money for a U.S. presidential candidacy from a foreign nation or from terrorists?